The city refers to the historic core of London, the boundaries of which have hardly changed since the Middle Ages, and even parts of the original Roman wall, which predate these medieval city limits by centuries, still stand at various sites. While a little effort is required to hunt out these historic ruins, an armorial and legendary stone dragon further demarcating its territory can be found on every road leading into the city. Nowadays, the city is synonymous with the multinational financial institutions residing within its 1.12 square miles of land. Hence, it's also being known as the Square Mile and ranks above New York as the leading centre for global finance. And while the sense of progress and power emanating from the world-defining institutions is almost palpable, it is through the uniquely historic atmosphere, aesthetic and character that the district truly lives. The city's wonderfully varied architecture, beautifully juxtaposing antiquity and modernity in perfect visual harmony is central to such character. And our London's letting agency for the city makes the most of this with a portfolio of residential property befitting our remarkable centre. 80% of our apartments are situated within purpose-built developments, while 20% of our property for the city is converted flats and period loft conversions. Some of our buildings include eight white fires on Temple Avenue, Times Square on Hooper Street, Barsby Place in Islington, and Picasso near Old Street, as well as the amazing new development, Heron Tower, which is coming soon. Studios rent from between 250 and 330 pounds per week. One bedroom apartments are on the market from between 325 and 400 pounds per week. A typical two bedroom flat starts at 475 pounds per week rising to £700 per week and three bedroom apartments are let from between £600 and £1,100 per week. The area is well served by a rich selection of shops, restaurants and hotels. The transport network, as you'd expect, is second to none, connecting the city with all parts of London the region and beyond. Tube stations include Bank, St Paul's and Chancery Lane. Some of the UK's finest learning institutions are found in the city and include the prestigious St Paul's Cathedral School, Charterhouse Square School and of course City of London. Three of the four most independent schools in the country. King's College London and London School of Economics offer university students from all over the world the chance of first-class higher learning. The amenities of the city are superlative, yet it is the magical and visceral sense of both history and progress which abound and can be experienced with a simple stroll along its many majestic avenues. To mention one building, monumental street of note is to neglect one other. Such is the timeless splendour of this part of the capital. And so we can only recommend the city as your future address in order to fully explore the very point of origin of the whole of London itself. <laughs> <laughs>